What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In today's video we are jumping into Batman issue 147. And if you're wondering, yes, this did release last week. This is a prelude to Absolute Power. And Absolute Power is going to be DC Comics Summer Event. If you're curious on what you might expect in that, there is a official prelude that came out on Free Comic Book Day. We do have it in the playlist. You're going to want to check it out because, man, some things are about to happen. But for Bruce Wayne, things could not be worse. The Batman of Zurinar splicing him himself away from Bruce Wayne, implanting himself into failsafe the robot that is so strong it can take down the Justice League. Of course, designed by the Batman of Zurinar, the ultimate weapon to put Batman down if he ever went sideways, if he ever went against his own rules. Batman too scared to turn to anybody he loves, he has no allies. Batman now broke and on the run, he has no weapons. And Bruce Wayne, alone in this world with nothing else, has he finally lost hope? While Bruce struggles with all of this, the Batman of Zurinar is creating his own army. And Amanda Waller begins her plotting. So, make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you like this video. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so our story starts us off with the Batman of Zurinar failsafe and Damian Wayne. Now up to this point, Damien is still believing that this is his father, but the more he observes, the more he sees that this isn't actually his dad. More it's a willingness to believe, to be Batman and Robin, father and son, that they don't need anybody else, they don't need the rest of the Bat family, they don't need Gotham, they don't need any of it, as long as the two of them stick together. As we pick up with Vandal Savage. Through a weird turn of events, he has found himself as police commissioner. As he discusses what they're going to do about vigilantes, what they're going to do with Batman. Because right now, Batman is rounding up people, throwing them in prison. And the police force, the mayor, they can't do anything to stop him. In fact, most of them, they're simply too scared to stop him. But they do worry where this is going to lead. This is when from in the crowd, somebody has a gun and they try to kill Savage. But the Batman failsafe has arrived. Using his body to block the bullet, he puts down the assailant. He also turns his attention to Savage, saying that he should put him back in prison right this moment. And Savage kind of wants him to do it, asking would your superhero friends see you throwing an appointed police commissioner in prison, in your personal prison? Will they see that as the moment that you went too far? But he reminds Vandal that you're nothing to me, that your position means nothing to me. Batman will sit here happily and watch him fail, so the public can see who this man truly is. This is what picks us up with Bruce Wayne, making his way to Happy Harbor, Rhode Island. A million years ago, this was the headquarters for the Justice League. It has been home to many heroes over the years, many friends, one of them being Barry Allen. Really, this is Bruce going down memory lane for a moment, recognizing that he is hopeless, that he is helpless, that he has nobody and nothing to fight against himself, the worst version of himself, the most violent, brutal version of himself. Right now, more than ever, he could use somebody to lean on, but he is too scared and too terrified to try and bring anybody else aboard. Too afraid of what Zer may do to them. Now, as we pick up at the manor, what we have is a team coming in to try and put down Batman. What they don't know is that they think Vandal Savage is Batman. They think the new police commissioner of Gotham is Batman because Vandal Savage now owns the manor. But as they make their way in, the only thing they run into is the terrifying Robin. The most ruthless of all the Robins, Damian Wayne. As he takes down this tactical team, through the window, Batman is coming in on Amanda Waller, not even in the same country. He tells Amanda Waller that you have disappointed me, that having Clock King part of your new Suicide Squad, the suicide part is extremely accurate. But Batman has come to let her know that nothing has changed about him, only what he is capable of. He is telling Waller to back off. 
the next time he is going to drag her back to America, and he will throw her in his own prison. This only confirms that Batman hasn't gone as far as to go against international law, to not cause an international incident. But Amanda Waller also knows that he's getting to that point. She knows that he's building power, cutting out anyone that drags him down, and acting total control. For Amanda Waller, she wants the same thing, but the Batman of Zorin R, he's not ready to arrest his friends, to arrest the heroes. Waller does let him know that eventually, after everything that you have done, you're a loose cannon. These people are gonna come for you. Your friends are going to come for you. Then you're gonna have to decide who exactly are the loose cannons. Is it you or is it them? As Zur heads back for the day, he has a conversation with Damian Wayne. Damien letting him know that the strike team had been dealt with. As they talk about Manda Waller, about her now thinking twice before she makes her next move. But they have to accelerate their plans, because he knows that there are others out there that are going to try to stop him, that are going to be moving in on him soon. They need an army, and that is exactly what the Batman of Zorinar has created. Amazo robots, and not just Amazo robots, but uploading them with variations of Batman from across the multiverse. He tells Robin that he had collected them on his travels, with their aid. They will be able to provide safety not just to Gotham, but to the entire world. This is where Robin really starts to think about this. Not understanding how he could take the consciousness from other versions of himself. That would just leave their bodies with no one in them. Or, this has all been the Batman of Zurinar. He collected Zurinar versions of himself from across the multiverse. Recognizing the rest of the Bat family were right. He now demands to know where his father is. Attacking Failsafe, telling him that he will kill him. He puts down Damien. He knew that this was a possibility. He knew that eventually all of them would turn on him. That Waller was right. Toller control is the only option. He cannot trust nor control a Robin. Not unless he makes one himself. This is where from out of one of the vats, we have a brand new Robin showing up created by the Batman of Zurinar. As we pick up with Bruce in his cabin that he would sit with his father, mother, and Alfred all those years ago, he builds his suit. He prepares to go on his next mission. While building this suit, that's when he hears a noise. Going outside to investigate who this may be, that's when he runs into Tim Drake. And Tim already knows everything that's going on. He knows that Zer infiltrated everything with some kind of system called the Echo. Tim had already ditched his phone. Took him a while, but he realized this is where Bruce would have ended up. He also brought some food because he knew Bruce wasn't going to be taking care of himself properly. Batman and Robin are back together. But Tim goes on to ask how long it's going to take for Zur to find them. Bruce is banking on the fact that Zur probably isn't even looking, believing that he will stay hidden, and as long as Bruce stays away, the Batman of Zoranar will do nothing to him. But more than that, Zur filled his mind with so much self-doubt. All of this time, he was thinking that he couldn't be around anybody. He couldn't do anything. He put the fear in his mind, planted that seed in his brain. The fear that he was dragging everybody to hell with him. That this life, it ends poorly. A stray bullet, a broken back, dying in an alley. He believed that he had to go on this crusade of a one-man army on crime. And again, Bruce is reminded that everybody chose this life. They know what they're in store for. They know what can happen. But Zer simply got in his head, made him scared, made him turn against everyone he cared about. But what Zer never understood is that his family is his strength. That he has never been able to do this alone. Most importantly, he doesn't want to do it alone. Because he needs his family. And now it is time to put that monster down. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. So most of you know this is all the build up to absolute power. If you read the comic from Free Comic Book Day, you'll know or at least see a glimpse of the future, a possible future, where Amanda Waller teams up with the Batman of Zurinar and his army of Amazos, his army of the Batman of Zurinar, from across the multiverse. They have become the world police, and we have Superman, Batman, The Flash, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, all of them in shackles, and Green Arrow working for Amanda Waller. 
it is truly dark days for Bruce Wayne. But he has been reminded of who he is, of what he represents, of what he has been through, and those that he must protect. Tim Drake, arguably not the best Robin, but definitely the most intelligent. The one with the most emotional intelligence. The Robin that you can always lean on. The Robin that is always there no matter what. The one that knows when to say the right thing. More than ever, Bruce Wayne needs Tim Drake. Because Bruce Wayne is about to go to war. So, let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories. If you want to get caught up on everything that is going on with Batman, go ahead, check out the link in my description, as well as the top of this video. It's going to get you completely caught up on everything that is going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you're unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.